Hi everyone, it's John at Wine Adventure Journal and welcome to the 11th Wine Wednesday of Christmas where we share with you each week a new great gift idea for the holiday season. Today I'm going to share with you the High Coop Corkscrew as you can see here in the enlarged photo and uh, it is a great sommelier or waiter's corkscrew it's very affordable and yet it has some advanced features you only find on uh, more expensive models so i'm going to point those out as i demonstrate it now before we do the demonstration i'm going to just show you the mechanics and show you how it's a little different from many other uh, corkscrews in its price range now this uh, corkscrew is on our top 10 list uh, that we have year-round on WineAdventureJournal.com and it usually retails under $15, usually around $12 to $14. And uh, it's a very sturdy waiter's corkscrew. It comes with different styles of uh, handles. I prefer the rosewood uh, wood inlay on the handle. You can get different models. And... Uh, it is like most good corkscrews, it's double hinged, even though you can't see the second hinge right now. I'm going to show you that in a second. Now, what do I mean by a second hinge? Well, I'm going to bring out this a uh, little less expensive and also easily found and commonly used corkscrews. Uh, this one, just like the other, it has a hinge at the fulcrum. And then on the flange, we can see this is a bottle opener. But we can also see on the bottom here, there are two ledges, two uh, uh, places that are going to grip the bottle as we uh, insert the uh, worm in and pull it out. Now, the reason that we have uh, the double hinged is because we want to grip the bottle from two different angles as we bring the cork out. And that ensures that the cork doesn't get bent sideways that it comes as straight as possible directly out of the bottle. And especially if we have a drier cork that might crumble or break, uh, pulling it out as straight as possible uh, reduces the possibility that it will break. And that's why we want to make sure we always use a, a uh, double hinge corkscrew. Again, going back to the high coop, looks like it doesn't have a, a double hinge. It looks like it has a single hinge right here, but it actually does, so I'm going to demonstrate. I'm opening up a uh, nice bottle of Devaro 2018 Primitivo, one of my uh, favorite Italian-style red wines out of Sonoma County, California. They're up by Healdsburg. I highly recommend you stop in and visit them, take some reservations, but give them a call. Now, whether you decide that you like to uh, or you prefer to move the bottle or move the corkscrew uh, as you insert the worm, it doesn't matter. Another uh, feature that I'm going to point out right now that you can't see, trust me, it's there, is there is a small groove in the edge, outer edge of the corkscrew as that uh, worm coils around. And what that little groove inside there does is it uh, increases the grip on the cork. So if you do have a dry cork, uh, it is going to... Uh, in improve the grip it has on it again making it less likely to break so whether you like to uh, turn it the bottle or turn the corkscrew i'm a bottle turner myself i had to get a nice grip on it i think a better grip than i do on the corkscrew but in doing so we insert the worm and now we talked about having uh, two hinges well this one this is kind of neat we want to uh, first grip the bottle with the middle ledge and in the, in the high coop it is actually spring loaded. So what we're going to do is we put it here uh, for our first ledge and I, for our first grip I push that in and it creates that lip over, pushes it in. Now I can lift it out. And again, I'm only lifting it partially out, usually about halfway. I then engage the, uh, the second ledge and pull again and again. I get a very vertical pull on my, uh, on my cork. And then you just remove the cork as you normally do. I, uh, of course, I don't twist the cork. I tend to hold the cork still 
and twist the uh, twist the worm out. So that is the high coop uh, waiters corkscrew again, about thirteen dollars, and uh, highly recommended. I use this whether I'm opening one bottle or a whole lot, and it is my favorite corkscrew, and I will take it. Uh, not on an airplane because I, uh, the regulations change and the, uh, uh, and the airport security changes from airport to airport. You don't know if they're going to confiscate it because of the little knife here. Uh, as we put in, the, on, in uh, articles before, uh, most of the time you can take a little four-wheel on, on an airplane. But uh, if I'm just driving somewhere or I'm going somewhere where I know I'm going to take a lot of wine... Uh, or open a lot of wine, I will take this with me, or I use it at home quite a bit. So that is our uh, gift item for the week. I hope if you like this video, you will hit like and subscribe, hit the chime. We are coming back next week with the 12th and final Wine Wednesday of Christmas for 2021, and I look forward to seeing you then. Take care.